hello welcome back to my channel and i'm going to be showing you how i've created this trinket tray with jesmine and resin okay so here's my trinket tray that i'm going to use i am using let's resin um mixture this time so different from my previous resin that i've used this is the first time i've used this particular resin brand and i'm going to be using the cling film effect now i have pre-mixed my resin it is a one-to-one -one ratio um, and I have mixed this. Um, I don't fill this trinket tray um, because obviously I want that cling film effect on here. So I half fill this um, and this will then be set um, for 24 hours. Um, so yeah, I just half fill this there and then make sure all the areas and all the corners are all filled in with this. Um, I have over made this um, resin and because i am using a different project um so that's why there is le loads left over in there but again i'm just making sure all air bubbles are out and i just pop in the cling film however <laughs> as you can see when you enter any cling film into resin air bubbles do produce um however it does add to the effect and i absolutely love it um so yeah 24 hours later i do come back and pull this cling film off now i can see that there is a big air bubble in there um i weren't expecting to have one that big but to be fair it did work out all right once i'd actually popped in the mica powder um i'm just here to get in the edges i think it was the only bit of cling film would that wouldn't actually come out in one go um but i absolutely love these the trinket trays as well you can use them for everything um for your jewelry um if you can heat protect them you can actually use them as a coaster have biscuits on the side there's no end you can do with these they're absolutely amazing i've got two molds um and yeah so that's good so i've put in the mika powder um and i'm going to use the jasmineite to then top it up so it's not all resin it's going to be jasmineite as well so these videos this week is going to be with both the resin and jasmineite mixture so i'll go for a gold like rose gold look um however it didn't turn out as rose gold i don't know if it's because um of the colored jasmineite that i use to seal the rest of it and complete it but it didn't turn out to be the color that i wanted but it was still absolutely gorgeous and i loved the effect that we got from the tray um, so I'm just making sure that all the powder is in all the corners, making sure I get all the gaps in there as well. So that helps them with the effect when I pour in the jasmineite. Now, I've not done the jasmineite with a trinket tray and with the cling film effect. So this is the first time and I was really happy with the outcome. Again, I've just got it all. Oh, it's a different angle. I just remembered I actually record this at a different angle. And I am using black pigment. On this occasion, I actually add the pigment into the actual jasmineite liquid, um, before not the actual full mixture. I thought if I mix the black first, then that would allow less time when coming to mix it all together. Um, because as we are aware, um, through my previous videos, and if you are familiar with jasmineite, um, it does cure really, really quickly. So you've only got like a five minute window unless you use a jasmineite retarder, which then gives you it like about half an hour playtime with it. Um, so yeah, I was just making sure, and you can only use 20, about 20% of the pigment in the um, mixture of the jasmineite as well. So I do mix the pigment into the liquid and then I do then add the powder into the liquid then and mix it all together with the jug as well. Um, so yeah, uh, we'll see how it went. <laughs> I think I would prefer coming forward, making sure that the pigment is added after. I just, I don't know why I did it this way this time. Just thought I'd give it a go, but I think I will add it after I've mixed both the base and the powder, um, the liquid and the base in. So here I am. I always pour half um, of the powder into the liquid because um, I just find it easier instead of just shoving it all in one go um but this was quite a big amount again i'm working on a separate project um if you go over to my instagram um i will put a video on there it's going to be it's of a skull um and i did a half resin half jasmineite skull as well um but there will be a picture 
um, in my Instagram as well. Um, if you go to my link bio at the top, you'll see the links to my socials there as well. And if you are watching this, um, please like and subscribe, comment on the video. Um, love to hear your feedback. Um, are you doing anything Jesmonite at the minute? Um, would love to know what what I can do or anything really. I'm just I'm just being nosy. <laughs> so yeah, um, so I get that all mixed in. I um, always wear gloves, although on all my previous videos you can see that sometimes I forget to wear them. But however, I just knew because I was working with black that they had to go on because the pigment is a nightmare to get off the skin once it's on. So again, I just feel this now. It isn't self leveling, so I have to give it. A good help in hand with it as well and just spread it across and make sure it's going around the corners again giving it a good bash um when i say good bash i mean a tap it just to make sure all the air bubbles then flow to the top um although to be fair with this because of the way that the um cling film effect is i'm not sure how it would affect with the air bubbles anyway um so we'll see because obviously it's binding to the resin as well so I'll leave that about 25 minutes and again this is what I love about Jesmonite is this product's going to be done the same day. So here it is 25 minutes later. I can still feel the heat on this. This is why I was touching it with my hand. I can still feel the heat um, coming from the actual mould. However it does look as though it's bound enough for me to actually be able to demould it especially with the resin then being part of this mould as well. So I do separate and break the edges and then I just literally flip this over and pull the mould away from the product. Yep, <laughs> my uh, surface is a bit dirty. And I just literally pull this one. And now this is absolutely amazing. I love my bookmarks. I love my coasters. But this, oh my God. And the fact that I wanted a rose gold colour and I ended up with like a more goldy blacky colour. I loved, I loved it. Um, you can see around here as well on the edges that there is a bit of a gaps um where the resin hadn't always gone to the top so it does bind really really well with the jasmine eye and the resin and there is a i think there was a hole in this which i then filled it with a top coat as well but this was amazing i love it so much so much um i, I just can't get over the colors the way that it's mixed in together and I also the pattern of how I've scrunched the cling film um I, to be fair I should have kept the original audio because I was absolutely buzzing I loved it so much um as you can see that there was a hole there and because of the mica powder actually on the mold it literally the jasmineite picked it up so I can't wait to do a full jasmineite and mica powder um, trinket tray or or a coasters um, because I think they're going to look absolutely amazing but yeah I just I was blown away by the colour and the way that this has turned out I absolutely love it um, there was a few holes and air holes of where the actual resin and the jasmineite were bonding together but I am so happy with this look at it it is beautiful so yeah, thank you very much for watching. I will be just uploading Tuesday and Thursday dur during March um, as it leaves me more time um, to get things done as well, especially with me being a mummy as well. But thank you. Please like and subscribe.